scoundrels. Just a footnote before we start the video, I uh, forgot to talk about two things uh, about the Wave 3 catalytic uh, safety heater. Uh, number one is they do not like dust when they're being stored, especially in the summertime when you're not using it a lot. You want to buy the dust cover for it and keep it on at all times when it's not being used because it plugs up the the, uh, the pad in there and it won't operate correctly. Uh, you know, if you're constantly not using it here and getting, letting it get full of dust. The second thing I forgot to mention was, is uh, they're around, I've seen the price jump up and down on these things, depending if they're on sale, who you buy them from. Uh, they can only be bought uh, uh, from the States, like on Amazon. Um, they are around, we'll just say $300 plus tax plus shipping so you know it adds up but uh, so they're a little bit more than the buddy heater but uh, 10 times the heater as far as I'm concerned there's, there is no you don't even you can't compare them like the the wave 3 is a way better heater so you know you buy the heater uh, around $300 you got shipping you know and you've got um, tax and then you got to buy a uh, you know of course they won't sell the cover with it so you got to buy the dust cover uh, then you got to buy a low pressure regulator and hose the barbecue one will not work because it's a high pressure hose and the fittings are different and then of course you need a tank and you need propane so enjoy the video and let me know in comments what you think okay scoundrels the first thing you got to do is slowly turn on the valve on your propane tank people make a huge mistake and turn on their valves really quick and there's a thing called a slam valve in the pressure regulators which will slam closed but technically they don't slam closed all the way they kind of three quarters closed or half closed and this will happen on your barbecues and you'll wonder why you're only getting half a flame where your barbecue is not getting hot enough and you think there's something wrong with your barbecue so always slowly first when you open the valve on your propane tank you open it slowly okay so you don't activate the slam valve in the high pressure regulators and in the low pressure regulators. The new ones are like that. Then the next thing you do is make sure you have no leaks in your line, of course. And then from there, what we're gonna do is there's this button here, which is your high, low, and start switch, right here. And then this red button is your spark switch. Okay, these heaters are really, really easy to light. On low, they're 1300 BTU on high, for 1600 BTU. Now, um, I've had this thing for a year or two, year and a half now, and I've used it quite a bit. And I can tell you they use a lot less humidity or make a lot less humidity than the little buddy heaters or the big buddy heaters that uh, you sell, that you can buy at Canadian Tire. Uh, they run too hot and they, they heat you out of your van and they don't have a thermostat, so you've got to shut them off and turn them on manual all the time which is a real pain in the butt. This thing, the Wave 3 heaters, the way to properly light it is you turn the dial to start, you start it, and then you turn it all the way to high on this button here, and you leave it for 10 minutes on high. And the reason you do that for the first 10 minutes is so this pad uh, lights up and combusts, has enough time to get the whole pad hot. After 10 minutes, you can take and turn this dial down to low, which I need to do in my van in this temperature, uh, you know, anywhere from minus five to, you know, minus zero, whatever. Um, I run it on low because it, it just keeps it beautifully warm at around 70 degrees, 72 degrees uh, in a van that's not even insulated that great. Um, so it works really good. Uh, and of course, like any combustible, combustible heater you have to have a fresh air intake I know it seems to kind of defeat the purpose but just like a fireplace at home you have to have fresh air coming in to feed this thing because it needs oxygen and I can't stress that enough it needs oxygen you've got to have a fresh air intake what I do on my van is I drop the windows down two inches on each side I have those rain vents on, the, on my side and passenger windows so I can crack my windows like two inches on each side and if it rains I, you know it doesn't get wet inside and that's perfect and it keeps the breeze from coming in too but yet I get enough oxygen for this machine so I don't kill myself okay and this thing is very very safe it's as far as I'm concerned it's ten times 
the heater than the Mr. Buddy heaters. So let's take it from there. So the first thing we're going to do is, I just got to look here, Whoa, I hit the stand, okay, is turn this, push this button in here, and then I just take this hand and I spark it. And there, I don't know if you can see, but this right here is the pilot light and it lit up. And so now, we just hold it in for about 30 seconds. And then what we're going to do is let go of the black button, and then we'll uh, turn it to high immediately. And one way I know that the pad is getting propane is you see it go poof. I don't know if you saw that, but if you watch closely, the pad will go poof just a little bit across the pad flame. Once, once you get a hot spot on the pad, you can let it go. The pilot will go out, and then you just turn this thing right to hot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light off so you can see it actually being lit up. A lot of people don't show that, I'm going to show that. So lights out, and at the bottom here, you can see you're starting to get a, a nice, actually there's a good lighting on there, uh, 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 a red spot already. <clears throat> so we'll just leave it there for a minute or two, and while that thing gets hot, uh, of course we got to wait 10 minutes, we're not going to have this video 10 minutes, but um, you know, we'll pretend we turned the, the button on low. Well, I'll just do it. It won't hurt it if you just do it once. Um, so now she's heating up, and like I say, you got to let it do that for 10 minutes. And eventually, that whole pad—it won't be totally evenly red, but you know, you'll see the whole pad kind of gets red. Um, and it's an infrared heater, and uh, uh, if it's facing at you, it'll really warm you up quick. But what it does is it heats objects up and then the objects warm up and then the heat comes off the objects. But I mean, uh, it's heating the steel rack here so you get a lot of heat off of that too. Like it's already, I can feel it, it's like already warm here. Right? Just a fantastic, fantastic heater. The Wave 3 Olympian heater. 1300 BTU on low, 1600 BTU on high. So pretend we've had it on for for 10 minutes. Okay, now we can move this black dial here to low. So what we do is turn it to low, which is there, and then now that's how I would run it all night. I run that heater just like that all night with uh, fresh air coming in through my side windows that I roll down two inches on each side, and I've got the rain visors on each window so it uh, keeps the rain from coming in my van and I stay toasty, toasty warm, and I do not get a lot of condensation because these heaters only sip the propane. So, so unlike the buddy heater that they're just jamming back the propane, so you're gonna get a, a lot more uh, condensation with them. But because this thing sips the propane, you don't, you know, it, it's really not that noticeable if, as long as you have a little bit of vent coming in. Now, in one week, I have a 10 pound propane bottle. Um, we'll talk about the barbecue bottle, those 20 pounders, because it'll, it'll make more sense because most people use those. I use the lighter bottle only because it's easier for me to lift and store because they're smaller bottles. But the 20 pound propane bottle basically lasts me. If I have this heater wide open and it's below, like it's uh, five below, it'll last for sure a week, like, like because you don't have it on constantly right but most of the time when it's on about a week per bottle so you just go a week per bottle times whatever it's costing you to fill your bottle by four weeks and that gives you how much a month it costs you to run your heat in your van which is very very economical when you think about it so now to turn it off I'll turn the light back on now to turn to turn the heater off you just push it in and turn it all the way off And of course, then you go down and you shut your propane off, which I'll do in a minute. So that's the Wave 3 Olympian heater. I hope that uh, actually gave you a good idea on how it works. I love it. I recommend it to everyone. Skull! Skull!